everybody, it's Mandy with AverageTriGirl.com. I am here today to talk to you about how to set up your transition area. This is how I prefer to set mine up. Um, I always like to start at the back and move forward. Um, I like to keep a small towel with me in case I need to wipe off my feet um, with sand. And I like to keep a squirt bottle with me also to squirt off any of the sand if it's not coming off with just a simple brush of the towel. Um, of course, my inhaler so that I can breathe through the race and my energy chews. I like to keep those just right there in the back. Um, I like to keep extra hydration. I always have my bike ready to go with all the hydration and I take advantage of the um, water stations along the way. But just in case that's not enough, I have those there. Um, and then I get my shoes out and I make sure that I pull them open so that my feet can slip right into them. I have the yank system on mine, which I highly recommend because you can slip right into them. And I like to run with a hat, so I put that right next to it. And um, I like to lay your race belt out unbuckled so that you don't have to do that during the race. Um, you want to take as little time as you can in transition area. Um, my shoes, I always make sure that they're fully opened and ready to slip in my bike shoes. And then, of course, you have your bike helmet. And I like to keep my sunglasses open inside my bike helmet so that I don't forget them um, on my bike ride. So this is basically how I set up my transition area. I like to use the, a pink towel because it's bright. Um, last year, during tri-season, I saw a couple people using yoga mats which um, I thought was a great idea because you don't have the water soaking through it in case it's a wet area that um, you're having to set up your transition in. So good luck with your transitions and you can check out my website averagetrygirl.com for a list of items that you need in your transition area. Happy training!